we are just coming up to our first campsite. We're just on George Lake tonight. And um, yeah, this is Michael's first backcountry trip. I didn't know the lily pads or whatever you call it. <laughs> lily dipping. <laughs> There's a snake eating a frog. We heard something like chirping and the snake has the frog in its mouth. Oh my gosh. So it's been like, what, three or four hours in the bush and we're, Michael's already into his box dry. And what do you have? I don't know, but it tastes good. Oh my gosh, a falcon just drug this into our campsite and flew off. It's a dead, I don't even know what bird that is, but it is dead. So our first dinner is chicken, or I think it was Chinese fried rice, and we added chicken, and then we put it on Nan to make a sandwich. What do you think of it? 8.4. Very good score. <laughs> we made a deal with Brie that we'd pay her $15 in a cinnamon bun from Gateway if she did our dishes for the whole trip. And she took the deal. It's the second day and we are already on the water. We are heading to Killarney Lake tonight and we are getting a head start just to um, hopefully get a good campsite and one that's big enough for all of our tents. We're at the George II Freeland Portage. This is, I guess, Michael's first real like canoe trip portage, although we did portage to film Wild Smogamy. Um, this is like our first like real camping, camping trip, backcountry so wise. <laughs> and yeah, now we're gonna go back, grab the rest of our packs and the canoe, and then paddle Freeland. She says she can't walk in this stuff here. Yeah, I ain't walking in this. Uh, Lake grass. Well, that's quite the backcountry camp for you are. Oh, oh. shush. Yay, you didn't tip. Uh -huh. Taking a video. <laughs> We've made it to the Kalani Portage, and this is all usually underwater right here. And it is so hard to, well, when you're fully loaded at least, to pull your canoe in get out under the mud. It's pretty crazy this year. He said, here, give me everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, video time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> We've just made it across the portage from Freeland to Killarney, and now we are on Killarney Lake, and we're gonna go look for a campsite now. And this is Michael's first time on Killarney Lake, and like this far in now, so this is pretty cool to show him everything. Michael has never used the Thunderbox before, so um, the time the has come, come. <laughs> and it's now time to get her done. Other side. Don't even know how to open it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually looking pretty nice. Yeah. It's newer, right? It looks newer. Bree said it was on a slant, so that could be fun. <laughs> Well, enjoy your poop. Yep, and cut, because I gotta go. <laughs> These are freeze-dried ice cream sandwiches. And uh, how do you like them? Pretty good, man. They taste like the real thing? Tastes like the real thing. <laughs> So we just hung our barrel up in the tree. I know some people don't hang their stuff in the tree, but um, yeah, we do whenever we can, or it's always up off the ground. We've just brought back the freeze-dried eggs. We've never actually made our own and rehydrated them before and eaten them, so. First time, freeze-dried eggs. Pretty good. They taste like the real thing? Yeah, that's cool. Where's the Franks? <laughs> Two. 
three. Is it cold? Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Michael just jumped in the lake, but a snapping turtle just decided to come say hello. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Look at him. Just going for a swim. What's she doing? Ta da! Oh, there she is. Teacher, forget me up at 5 30 in the morning. How's it taste today? Like bananas. <laughs> Pretty good. It's good. We are currently bushwhacking up to the crack from our campsite. This is our second time doing it, but you always follow different flogging trails each time, so. I think we're about 200 meters from the top, though. Haha, <laughs> 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 it's video. <laughs> it's video! <laughs> <laughs> ah! We are just coming back down from the crack. As you can see, it is very busy. Um, it's also August long weekend. Finding the piece of wood you were sawing. Look, all I gotta say is it wasn't me. <laughs> I was sawing here. Somebody a while ago tried sawing here and snapped the blade. It's pretty cool. This is the little pile of wood that we left. Not little pile, it's actually quite a bit of wood. But the boy sawed up yesterday for the next person. Right on your knees, just kind of slide the bolt. Uh, down like that, yeah. So today we are moving to OSA. We are just coming up on the um, start of the little narrows to the left over into OSA Lake, whereas the portage is just over there to the right. Um, water is super low this year, so we're not sure how far we'll be able to go, um, but we're gonna try it anyways. So we've made it to the lift over, which we are currently standing on. Yeah. Standing uh, on Beaver Dam. That was a cool paddle. Um, we just made it through um, this, and now we have to yank the canoe. We think it's not that high, so we should be able to just pull the boat over without taking gear out. But then we're off over here, the short portage to OSA. Yeehaw. <laughs> and we've made it to the shorter portage over to OSA Lake. How did you find the liftover? Not that bad? Pretty cool. Yeah. And we've made it to OSA. Nice, clear, clear water. And the nice mountains all the way around the lake. We've just come to a island just near the campsite that we want to wait because 
Um, it's still early and the people haven't left their set yet, but we just asked them if they were leaving and they are, so that's super exciting because then we get um, a really nice sight for the next few days and Michael is uh, right here just uh, taking a little nap because we are up at 6.45 to get over here to get the sight that we want, so now we wait. island campsite for the next couple of days and now we're just uh, unloading the boats. We have Nan pizzas for dinner. <clears throat> that's everything that's going on it. Kyle has, Kyle and Rachel have. Potato and cheddar soup. <laughs> and Plum and Dad have freeze dried uh, hamburgers. Literally, look at that. How was it? Pretty damn good. Yes. Building to one late overnight, then decreasing to one half meter or less Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Marine forecast issued at 5 p.m. What's in your thing? Cheese and bacon bit. What do you think? That's pretty good, man. Yeah? Mm, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so really good. I don't know if I should. It's very decadent. But maybe. But a moment on the lips could be, oh, well, uh, maybe. Should I? <laughs> Finish it. Very good. Very, very good. I like that. About. What's the brand? Jello cheesecake. Nice. The original. I have to get that. <laughs> I thought he was gonna keep more. <laughs> have another bite. Have more. Oh, I can have more. So what are you drinking tonight? Blue Kool-Aid and vodka. This has to be the go-to backcountry drink. Good. Freaking good, man. Look at the blue. That's the good refilling station you got there. Are seeds. Apples have seeds, not pit. The middle of it. Oh, uh, seeds. That's pit the four. Pit, like one pit, one seed. Um, this is not a real cup of soup. Even though it says it, it's false advertising. Why? Because it says right here, empty soup into your mug, add three quarters of a cup. Because that is not one cup. <laughs> not one cup, if it was a cup of water that you added to the cup of soup, then it would be a, be a little bit more than a cup because of the contents. But still... <laughs> I have some eye drops if you want. So this pancake has maple syrup crystal, crystals and bacon oh. in it, and that's going to be part of Michael's. Are you excited? Okay, kind of a weird question, but a serious one. 
Michael thinks that, sorry, this might be TMI, <laughs> but Michael thinks that you should just sit on the Thunderbox for like 20 minutes a day and do everything all at once rather than just going when you gotta go. I don't know how I feel about that. If I'd wanna sit on a box knowing that there's bugs digging around and the stuff in the box. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> Still on the poop conversation. Like, yes, you have a nice view of a giant rock and fellow canoeist passing by could possibly see you while you're on the box. But realistically, you'd wanna sit here for 20 minutes rather than just using it when you have to. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's massive. Back a little bit on the timing, guys. <laughs> Just saying. Just a little bit. We just left our campsite, which is right behind us, and we're on the water. It's super calm. It's pouring rain, and we're hoping that it doesn't start thundering or lightning. And we got a portage, so. That's the rest of our day. We just got to the leftover portage um, to Killarney Lake and it is still pouring rain. It's getting brighter. Yeah, it is getting brighter though. It kind of sucked. It's really dark when we were packing up. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this done. Which pack is lighter? I want to carry the lighter one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that one's lighter? We just made it to the liftover from that little small portage into Killarney. And we gotta get out. Yay! <laughs> okay. We're sort of Ooh, it's over. <laughs> yeah, Michael has to get in. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's sinky mud. You need to just crawl up in front of the canoe. We grabbed some of mom and dad's gear and this is so much fast food. This is Michael's get up right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay.
okay. I don't know. <laughs> So we just finished up with the portage from Killarney to Freeland. Now we're on Freeland. We're gonna make our way to the portage from Freeland to George. It's finally stopped raining. How was that, Michael? It was good. <laughs> we're very hungry. That's good. Just finishing up here at the portage from Freeland to George. And all we have left to do is this pack and the canoe. Coming up to the final stretch of paddling on George Lake. So we've made it to the final uh, takeout here at George Lake Campground and we are gonna go load up the car now.